Hello everyone, if you are a project manager and want to visualize events, tasks or milestones over a specific period, then creating a timeline chart is the best option for you. Moreover, it can be used for event planning, personal goal achievements and product developments. So this is Jihad Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn three methods on how to create a timeline chart in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have number of the weeks, project phase, schedule hours, work hours, and project progress in column B, C, D, E, and F. So we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365 for describing the whole video. Without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to use 2D line to create a timeline chart. And to do that, we need an extra column in the column G called the helper column. In the helper column, we can only enter two types of data, one and minus one to show the timeline chart visually more attractive. Here, at first we'll go for the G5 cell and enter one and then we'll use the alternate minus one and we need to do the same for the rest on the cells also. Here we can get all the cells in between 1 and minus 1. After that we need to go for the column G, select the whole G column and press the control button and then select the column B of the number of the weeks. Then go for the insert tab and here you'll go for the insert column or bar chart and then select 2D cluster column. Now you've got the perfect result here. Now select the chart and go for the chart element and then go for the axis and then untick the primary vertical to make it visually more attractive. Then go for the error bars and select more options to open the format error bars section. Here you'll go for the vertical error bar and select minus in the direction section. Go for the cap in the end style and in the error amount, we'll go for the percentage. And as we're dealing with the 100%, so write down 100% and press the enter button. Now in the chart section, you've got the perfect result. Click on the error bars. Now go for the format tab and here you'll find shape fill option. Click on no fill to get the result. After that, you'll go for the shape styles and if you click on the shapes, then at the right side, you'll find the chart section where you'll click on the data labels and select more options. Here, you'll find value from cells in the label option. Now, in the data label range, you'll select the range of C5 to C13 and click OK to get the result. Now untick the value to get the proper visualization. Now you need to also insert the direction. To do that, you'll go for the insert shapes and here you'll find the arrow sign. If you click on the line arrow and insert the proper arrow sign, then it will look like this. But here you can also format it. So you'll go for the shape outline and select the color according to your wish. And again, go for the shape line and go for the weight. In this section, you can also use the 3PT to get the perfect result here. Now we'll again go for the chart elements section and untick the grid lines to make it visually more attractive. We can also go for the chart title and write the name according to our wish. Suppose in this case, I want to write down a name project timeline, then I'll write it down as project timeline. So. I have got the perfect result here. Now, if you want to get a better view, then you can select everything here, the stretch it a little bit to get the perfect view. So that's how we can easily use 2D line to create a project timeline in Excel. We can also create a timeline chart by using the bar chart. At first, select B4 to E13 cell, go for the insert tab, and in the chart section, go for insert column or bar chart, select the 2D clustered column and here you have got the result. After that, you'll go for the chart element and in the axis option, you'll go for the unticking of the primary vertical. So you'll get the perfect result here. Then tick on the data labels and untick the grid lines. So you have got the result according to your wish. Now 
stretch it a little bit to make it visually more attractive. Now you need to also show the direction. So we'll go for the format section. Here you will find the insert shapes, click on it and now insert the proper shape according to your wish. After that, you'll go for the shape outline. Here you can select the color and then you will again go for the shape outline to go for the weight section and select 3PT to make it visually more attractive. So that's how we can easily create a timeline chart by using the bar chart in Excel. In our last method, we'll use the combination of 2D line and bar plot to create timeline chart. Here we'll need the help of the helper column like the first method. So we'll again use the combination of 1 and alternatively minus 1 in the column G. So write down 1, then minus 1, again 1, alternatively minus 1 and do the same for the rest of the column G also. We have used these two numbers of 1 and minus 1 because it will make the chart look more attractive here. Then we'll go for the H6 cell. Now we need to use the formula here. We'll use the D6 cell and we'll multiply it with the helper column and click the enter button. Now we'll use the fill handle to get the result for every cell. Then we'll go for the I6 cell and again insert the E6 and multiply it with the help of the helper column G6. Click the enter button to get the result. Again, you will use the fill handle to get the formula to every cell. So you have created everything. Now select the H and I column and press Ctrl and then select the weak section. Now you have selected, go for the insert tab. Here you will go for the insert column or bar chart. Select the stacked column and now you have got the perfect result. In this section you will go for the chart elements. Here you will find the axis, you can easily untick the primary vertical to make it visually more attractive and then untick the grid lines to get the perfect result. You can also go for the data label to get the labeling section. As it looks much more congested, so you need to select it and stretch it a little bit to get the perfect result here. You can see the data chart is showing the result as series 1 and series 2. Suppose you don't want to show in this case, but you want to show the names. So I'll click on it and then right click and select the select data. Here you will find the select data source dialog box and click on the series 1. And in this section, you will see that it has got the edit option. Click on it and now you will see that you have got the series name option. Click on the schedule hours and click OK. Now you'll see that it has changed the name. Again do the same for series 2. Go for again the edit option and select the worked hours and click OK. And now if you click OK then you'll see that it has shown the perfect result. Now you need to go for the direction of the chart. So you'll go for the format tab and here you'll go for the insert shapes and select the arrow sign and insert the arrow sign where you want to get the result. And after that, you'll go for the shape outlines, select the color according to your wish, again go for the shape outlines and in the weight section, select 3PT to show it more perfectly. You can easily change the colors according to your wish and that's how we can easily use the combination of 2D line and bar plot to create timeline chart in Excel. That's it for today. You can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelnemi.com. Thanks for watching our video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.